So now we're going back to like the limestone which is part of the cedar tree root system and the lava rocks okay we're gonna kind of bounce back and forth but so I'm gonna show you this this is part of the cedar tree right here so this one's used to look like this right here this little piece I have right here okay this is cedar okay let me go over here Okay, it has that orangish, pinkish, tannish, okay, just like this. It's just like this. This is limestone, but I'm going to show you that this was one's wood. Okay, so you need to remember this because there's a lot of information coming here. This is in its raw petrified form. This is part of the root system. This is limestone. But you see this right here, okay? This is part of the wood, okay? Okay, this here is the limestone. This is part of the quartz, and I'll show you that over here. This here was a piece of petrified wood, but you see the, the striations in it, just like this. Okay, you see the striations. Okay, just remember all this. This is the same exact thing. Okay, heat does this. So you see here. This is part of the limestone, but you see this piece of crystal right here. This came from the tree, okay? I'm going to show you over there and prove it to you. I'm showing you this in my periodic table video, but I'm going to cover it here because it's important. So this right here, this piece right here, used to look just like this, but it was high heated and it kind of melted down. It didn't get completely melted into like a rock, like a lava rock, okay? This here used to look just like this. This here was crystal at one time in the limestone and the petrified wood. It used to look just like this. It melted it down. This right here used to be white quartz crystal just like this. All this right here used to be white quartz crystal and I'll show you a piece over there. See how it's like melted it down and changed the color. It melted it. Okay, so I want you to remember this, and I want you to remember this. This is the limestone. It's part of the root system. Same with this. This is limestone. It's part of the root system. And this was one's quartz at one time, and I'll show you. At one time, this was not busted up like this. This is all part of the grain. All of it. There's so many different types of grain. It's just part of the grain of the tree. So I need to show you this piece. So this is the quartz, the petrified sap. And you see the petrified tree here? And you see the petrified tree underneath? This is just a small piece. Just like this. This is the wood. This is the, the sap. You see here, this is starting to turn to mica, part of the wood. But I want you to remember this. How you got the wood and the quartz in the wood okay so so that piece I just showed you that used to be the quartz inside here that melted it used to be crystal like this like quartz it was either quartz and or just crystal it's they're both one of the same and it melted at a high heat just like this this used to be white quartz crystal okay and let me show you in my video on the periodic, periodic table, I've showed you that the geodes, okay, were balls of sap. If you haven't watched the video, you're not going to understand this. And how the crystals happen. They can be this size, but on a larger scale that are, are very, very large in these caves. I mean, massive. Okay, so you see, this is a ball of sap. And you see the the quartz that crystallized in it okay so I'm going to show you it don't just happen in the sap so you see this is a piece of petrified wood just like this okay so this is not a ball of sap this is the wood and you'll see not uh, it doesn't have the quartz remember the piece I just showed you 
the solid piece of quartz like this that was in that piece I just showed you that had the wood on the top and the bottom. This is a piece of wood and you'll see that the crystals occur just the same in the wood because it's the sap that crystallized the same as in the sap balls, okay? Okay, this is petrified wood. It's not a ball of sap. But you see, not only will the sap crystallize into quartz like that, or even like this. This was a ball of sap. This is one of them small pieces. This was a pieces. This was an ambient heat temperature from the external, okay? That turned it this color. Okay, and this is what happened, okay? Just like that piece I showed you here. Okay, the, the sap could turn into just the solid quartz. And here's the wood and the wood, that's the petrified sap. Or it could turn into crystal. Just like this, okay? It doesn't matter. It just depends on the environment and the process that occurred in the area. Okay? So this is important because I'm going to show you. you got to understand this because when I show you the lava rock, you're going to understand. Just like this piece right here I showed you over there. That this was one of them flat ones. Let me pause it and show you. Hold on. So I showed you this right here. All this right here used to be like this but it was high heated and melted and discolored okay so hold on so here's a piece of the the limestone okay it's all just part of the tree all of it you're gonna understand I can only show you small pictures and when I showed you how the the crystal the quartz melted and took the color from it the same thing happened here. This happens before it turns into a lava rock, and I'll show you the different progressions, okay? This here, the same thing. It's a piece of limestone. This here, I showed you this already, but I want you to remember this. And I'll show you that this was tree here in a minute. Part of the tree. Like you come over here, okay? Let me turn this light on. Okay, this don't look like petrified wood, but I'm going to show you that it is. There's a different progression from where it goes from a piece of petrified wood to this to lava rock. Okay, I'm going to show you that. But that piece I just showed you, you see here, what happens to it? This was once wood at, at one time. It just didn't get hot enough. It was an in-between stage. Like I told you, the same thing with copper and gold. Uh, an iron pyrite or mica there's different stages of whether it finished the process or not so you see that right there okay you come here to a regular piece of wood okay you see it's one of the same okay I try to show you there and then you have this it's one of the same Okay, this was once a piece of wood, but it's got, it was high heated, it took the color from it, but it didn't, didn't totally t disintegrate it. Okay, that and this are one of the same. So, let me show you over here.
over here. Okay, before I get into the lava rock, I'm going to show you the, another transition before I got to lava rock. So this is a piece of wood, okay? Like I just showed you over there. So this this got heat from different areas, but it didn't get hot enough to turn it to lava rock, okay? Lava rock and magma are different. I'll show you that what magma looks like.
looks like you have a sludge, like a, I mean not a sludge, but like a, a slurry, like a magma, hardened magma. You have obsidian, and then you have the, the in-between. You have this stage, and then you have this stage where you see this rock here started to get so high heated, and a lot of this right here was quartz. It just melted it. Okay, this almost turned into a lava rock. And you come over here. And you see where it got hot enough under here where it turned into what we call lava rock. Okay, like this. But the whole thing didn't get hot enough, but it changed a lot of the composition of this. Let me turn it around. All this right here used to be quartz. All of this. But it melted it and changed the color. And then this got hotter, even down here. And it starts to turn into the lava rock. But it didn't get hot enough yet. This is probably part of the bark on a small piece. And then I showed you like the agate. This is the ends part of the inside of a tree, okay? These pieces are similar to this. They got so high heated, they just baked everything out of it. Okay? So rock and magma are two different things. So here is a piece of rock, a piece of petrified wood that's discolored, okay? And I'm gonna show you this right here is crystal, okay? This here is crystal. Just like, just like this right here, okay? That crystal. That was ones like it that got, um, got melted and the piece of petrified wood started to turn to lava rock. This used to be some of the crystal. This used to be some of the crystal. And I have a bunch more over there, but it's pointless to go over there. So I'm gonna show you. This here is obsidian. This is a, it's all pieces of wood, just tiny little pieces. Pieces. Okay. This was one's crystal. It just didn't get hot enough. And then, it, and then from this stage, they will melt two, three thousand degrees, and they turn into magma, like a slurry. And that's where you get all your your lava flow. It's from massive, massive, massive amounts of the petrified tree remains that are under the ground, part of the root system, from the coal and the methane and the natural gas building up and create, creating a massive fire down below. And these pieces just didn't get hot enough. They were spit out, you know, like they were just spit out. And it happens all the time. This is just a piece of petrified wood. And if you see this right here, you'll see that on a lot of them. And then the rock eventually melts and turns into magma, okay?